Hey guys, it's the Running Rocker here and welcome to a little FAQ video on the powder, the colored powder, that one there, on how to make it. I've had lots of questions on, on it and I just want to make a video to let you guys know the FAQs and yes. Anyway, so this, this is going to be the long version, there's just going to be a short version. If you want to go see the short version, it's there. So the long version is how hot does the oven need to be and the oven I just put it to the lowest temperature of what I have which was 50 degrees at the time leave the oven door open just a little bit it lets the moisture out lets it dehydrate quicker and yes that's it let's see number two um, how do you get the powder to stick and um, the powder to stick unless you use a hell of a lot of it it does stick dry but the best that I found was onto a wet surface. That's why in that video, I had my actors, well, my friends, go and have a water fight first and then throw the powder at each other because that's how it stuck to them. Um, how long does it take to dry? Well, for me, in those bowls, it took me between 12 and 24 hours to dry in my house. I'm in the UK, so it's not exactly hot weather here, so, yeah, another way of getting it to cool, cool. Another way of getting it to dry faster is to have it out on a tray, on lots of baking trays, because that gives it more surface area to dehydrate, and then pretty much just crunch it up from there. Right, does it have to be icing gel? The answer is no, it does not have to be icing gel. It can be any type of food coloring whatsoever. Um, a lovely comment from one of the watchers said that for drops of food coloring, it is about 20 drops of food coloring for every pound, whatever that means to you. I will probably come up with some numbers here to tell you what pounds are to kilos and how much water is usually needed and so on and so forth. Okay, lots of people say they can't find cornstarch. That's all right, because cornstarch is also known as cornflour, arrowroot flour, or even gilgar flour, also known as potato flour as well. So all of those do work fine. Now, lots of people have asked me, can't I use normal flour? And um, the real answer to that is yes, you can, but it's a real pain because that's going back to the traditional way of how they used to make um, holly powder, which is basically they would make a dough, a colored dough, turn it into big, long, thin sausages, let it dry out in the sun and then crunch it up from there. So it's up to you on that. Just cornstarch seems to work better because it turns into that non metonious liquid and it's just, it dries and it's powder easier. Okay, how can I clean it off? Well, off clothing, I do not know. I would think it would stain. Remember, it's food coloring. So remember when you were baking as a kid and your mom would tell you, watch out when you put the food coloring in because it'll stain yourself. Yes, it will stain your skin and it will stain clothing, I guess. But I don't know how permanent that stain is for you that want it to stain. But off, for instance, grass, concrete, anything like that, just lots of water and that will just get rid of it. It's biodegradable anyway, everything in it, if you use the right ingredients that I've used as well, then it's all fine and handy dandy. Um, do you need to bake it? No, you do not need to bake it. I only do that to increase the increase to speed up the dehydration process, and that's why I put it into the oven. Now, I've had one comment saying that they put it into a dehydrator, and it took six hours in a dehydrator. So, for the few that have a dehydrator, you can just put the non-Newtonian liquid into the dehydrator, and it should dehydrate to crumbling state pretty much from there on. Okay, can I put it in the microwave? Um, that won't do really much good. It will heat it up, but the microwave enclosure will keep the moisture in, so it will just still be damp. It's not what you want. On top of that, someone once commented down in the comments saying that they wanted to put it in the microwave on some foil. Do not do that. If you put metal into the microwave, it makes sparks. And let's say you did dry a little bit of the powder if it sparked and ignited the powder that could be boiling up due to the vibration of the water, just don't do it. Microwave's not a good idea. If you live in a hot country, just put it out in the sun. That will be a better choice for you. 
Now, what happens if you get it in your eyes? It's not good, because it's pretty much flour and food coloring, and anything in your eyes is not good. So just go wash it out with lots of water. You should be fine, because there's nothing toxic in it. Uh, what happens if you inhale the powder? Nothing is good to inhale, full stop. Um, it won't um, be lovely, that's for sure. It might make you cough quite a bit. If you inhale quite a bit of it, you should probably go to a doctor and get yourself checked out because that can create, what's it called? Pulmonary infusion in extreme cases, basically, which is you get an infection in the lungs and your lung fills up with water from your body. But that's in extreme cases and that's only if you get quite a bit in or it's dirty in some way. So all of this is natural and natural I mean it's natural ingredients as in edible food coloring and flour that you would eat yourself. Uh, cheapest place to get cornstarch. Right, the cheapest place I found is no longer that online place that I gave you the link in the making of the powders video. It's actually an Aldi. I got this commented to me that you can get a bag of 500 grams for about 60p in Aldi. So yes, that's awesome. Okay. How much powder did I use for my video? Well, if you haven't seen my video, it's that video there that they're referring to. And I used three kilograms of powder in that. So I would say that's pretty much the minimum amount you want to use to make it fun. If I refilm that, but I probably will at some point, is I would quadruple that for literally have three kilos for each person. And then that would be insane and would have been so much more fun. Right, uh, what is Holi? Holi is an Indian color festival. If you want to find out more information, here is a URL and it will also be down in the description. It's pretty awesome. It's just a festival color and it turns into this huge awesomeness. Um, okay, can you use baby powder? I would seriously advise not using baby powder um, because Basically, baby powder is slightly toxic. It's not made out of a natural ingredient and it will be a pain to get off anything because it's got slight moisture, fatty oils in it and just don't do it. Use cornstarch, it's much better. And last but not least, how can you shoot out the powder? The best way to shoot out the powder is using a modified CO2 cannon, but that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. I don't really know too much about CO2 cannons. If you want to know more about CO2 cannons and where to get this powder and actually buy the powder, you can, in the UK and Europe, you can go to Care Colors, which are awesome because I talked to them and I went, hey, look, I've got lots of people that want to make this powder and some want it in quite big bulks. So if you want it in 20 pound, bulk, I think it's 20 or 25 pounds. I'll give you here in kilograms of what that is. Basically, you can go to that website, talk to the guys, reference the running rocker, and they'll give you 10% off your order. Go do that now if you want lots of it. If not, do what I did and make it yourself. It's a bit of a pain, but that's it. Anyway, I've hoped this has helped you. And as always, keep on rocking. Bye.